How's it going guys? Jerry here and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Y Egglock. In the previous episode, I don't exactly know what it is we did. Did we go and face off against Karina at the top of the Tower of Mastery? I think we did, right? Because we now have the Mega Ring. Which reminds me, we gotta go get the Lucario Knight back from the PC. No, it's actually in our bag. I don't know what's going on. I haven't recorded in a while, so please do forgive me guys. So yeah, we got our Karina up at the top of the Tower of Mastery. We got our nice Mega Ring. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as today's episode is concerned. I think we have Route 12 to take on. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. But, of course, before we go ahead and do that, we have to have a quick party recap because no episode is complete without one. So, first things first, we have Arthur the Haunted Chair, level 28, with the moves Aerial Ace, Swords Dance, Shadow Sneak, and I'll Totemize. Next up, we have Game Shark the Carvana, level 29, with the moves Ice Fang, Crunch, Surf, and Thrash. I kind of read that backwards. I apologize. Next up we have Mikey Mac the Lucario level 32 with the moves Blaze Kick, Crunch, Bullet Punch, and Sky Uppercut. Next up we have uh, some Pokemon that really don't belong in our team because those are Pokemon that I hatched in the previous episode. So let's go ahead and deposit you guys and let's get the Pokemon that are actually in our party back from the PC. This episode is off to a great start. Thank you for that. By the way guys, if you guys are enjoying this series then please go ahead and show your support by dropping a like down below because likes are very appreciated. Your support means everything to this series. And uh, that's a way for me to know that you guys are enjoying the series. So go ahead and drop a like. Show support. Uh, but yeah, before any further... What was I going to say? I don't know. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and go over to Route 12. We actually need a Pokemon with Surf, now that I remember. So uh, I guess we got to get Lap... Well, we have, we have actually... We have Carvana. Like I said, this episode is off to a fantastic start. Alright, so let's go ahead and go over here to the right of Camphire Town. Or no, Shallower City. We're gonna make our way to Camphire Town, I think. No, we're not. I don't know what's going on anymore. Alright, so we already talked to you. We already caught our encounter for this route here. What do you have to say, buddy? Azure Bay. Everything including life comes in from the great ocean. Deep, man. That's fucking deep, dude. Alright, so let's surf on Carvana here. I think we might actually get a Sharpedo here sometime soon? I'm not exactly sure what level Carvana evolves, but I'm pretty sure it's sometime soon. Uh, let's actually go ahead and have... Yeah, we're going to keep Arthur... Well, actually, no, because Steel really doesn't do much to uh, water Pokemon. So let's go ahead and... and um... You know what? As a matter of fact, since we're out here, let's go ahead and have uh, Game Shark up in the front because I really want to get a Sharpedo sometime soon. And I guess the best way to do that is just to, you know, train up Carvana. Uh, let's battle you, buddy. What's up, man? Swimming alone, swimming alone. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a, a very exciting day, bro. Very exciting day. Alessandro, I don't exactly know what kind of name that is. You have a Quillfish. What are the chances that Quillfish has explosion, like right off the bat? And you're also level 29, and that makes me feel very happy about myself. Alright, so let's go for Crunch. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna Oko because Quillfish is pretty defensive. Oh, it is? Oh, it's a critical hit. Okay, that was actually needed, I'm pretty sure. That was actually needed. It's actually needed. By the way, I'm actually recording this at night. It's uh, almost 10.30. And I'm not used to recording at night, but um, I figured recording at night would be uh, better for me because I really can't record in the day because it's so noisy in my house and recording at night just seems to work better for me for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to go with the flow. And you're going to live. I don't know how. You're going to go for Clamp. We're going to eat that up because Clamp is not broken like it is in Gen 1. And speaking of Gen 1, I guess the question of the day could be... Um, I don't know if you guys saw the Nintendo Direct last week, but instead Nintendo Direct, there was an announcement that on February 27, 2016, Red, Blue, and Yellow are going to be released in the Virtual Console. So my question to you guys is, are you going to get the, uh, the original Pokemon games? Uh, as for me, I might actually be getting Pokemon Yellow. Um, I love Pokemon Yellow. It's probably my favorite out of the three. Uh, Blue was my first. But uh, I just prefer yellow overall. So uh, yeah, if you guys uh, want to go ahead and answer that question down in the comments below, I am very curious as to what you guys uh, plan to do when those games are finally released in America again after 20 years. So let me know. All right, so we have a tentacle here, tentacle, schmentacle. Let's run away from you. Do I have any repel? I don't think I have any repel. That's really unfortunate. I don't want to like run into Pokemon after Pokemon. Um. So, you know what? We're just going to go with it. Alright, so here we have a backpacker. What's up, backpacker? <clears throat> what you got, bro? Backpacker Joran. That's a weird name. You have a Lanoon. <gasps> I'm actually pretty scared of Lanoon, to be honest. 
Belly drum, East B Lanoon, there's nothing to fuck around with. I actually think you get Seed Bomb, don't you? I am not going to risk that. I'm going to go out into Mikey Mac, because I'm pretty sure you get Seed Bomb. I'm not sure if it's by level up or by breeding, but I know for a fact that uh, Seed Bomb Lanoon is a thing. You get Headbutt. I mean, either way, Carvana wouldn't appreciate a Headbutt, to be honest. Um, so let's go ahead and go for a Sky Uppercut. Oh, I don't have you holding the Lucario Knight. That is, uh... Well, to be fair, do we really need to use Mega Lucario? I mean, this Lucario is pretty perfect as is. And I don't, want, I don't want to run through the entire game easily, so... We're just gonna keep Lucario uh, as is. Deg Deg is now level 31, which I enjoy. I enjoy very much. I don't exactly know what level we're gonna get. A <laughs> There he goes. There we go. Oh my lord. Alright, I was gonna say, I don't exactly know what level we're gonna get an Excadrill, but uh, here it is. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I could not have timed that any better, to be honest. And we have an Excadrill now, so our team is even more menacing than it was before. Your Dig Dug evolved into an Excadrill. Of course it did. Do you get Earthquake by level up? You get Horn Drill. Um, no, because Horn Drill has terrible accuracy, so we're gonna keep the moves that we have now. But that's actually very exciting because I love Excadrill. For those of you guys that don't know, Excadrill was so good in Gen 5 that it was actually banned to Ubers because of Sandstorm being a thing. Like, weather, uh, weather teams in competitive were, like, very common in 5th Gen because weather was permanent. So, uh, because of its ability Sand Rush, um, uh, Extra Drill pretty much outsped anything, which, uh, in addition to its high attack, you know, it was a pretty good decision on Smogan's part. I don't know if you guys battle with Smogan rules, but, uh, yeah, Extra Drill was so good it was banned to Uber back in 5th gen, but now that weather isn't permanent anymore, um, it's not an Uber, it's no you. But either way, <laughs> I went off on a little tangent there, none of you guys care about that. Uh, we are here in the Skitter Ranch, one of my favorite places in all of the, uh, Kalos region just because it's um it's pretty fun just running around on a skidome here. It's a pretty nice uh pretty nice uh, mechanic. They actually um did the same thing in uh, Lumio City where you can get a go go. You can ride on a go go. It's pretty cool. Um okay I'm pretty sure that's all we can do here right? Yeah that's pretty I'm pretty sure that's all we can do. Oh you can't go down the stairs skiddo? That's so disappointing. Well all right then let's go and uh, put you back I guess. Okay, I guess that's pretty much all there is to do here in the uh, skittle. Actually, no, we need to go, <laughs> we need to go to the actual corral. And uh, let's see, there we go. Okay, now I can get off and I can progress. There isn't really anything to offer here. Can I go talk to somebody? I can't go to. Okay, what's in here? I don't know. I don't know. All right, what's up, little girl? I love skittles so much. I feel like I've been hit with the attract moves. Oh, you're gonna give me attract. Lovely. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to put that to use, but, uh, you know. It's good to have. What's up, man? You can't pick items up from the ground while I'm back of a skiddo. Twould be poor manners, after all. I don't think anyone cares about manners when it comes to picking up free items. So, yeah. <laughs> There's that. Okay, let's actually keep Carvana up in the front here because we have some trainers to fight. Um, I don't exactly want to run into any Pokemon. We did not, which is good. I think we need to cut to get... I don't know. Oh, that's actually... I think I know what that is. I actually think I know what that is. And actually, teaching Cut to a Pokemon might actually be worthwhile here. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and teach Cut to... Where is the... Uh, I guess we can get rid of Tackle. Or do we have any physical move that Espeon doesn't really need? Because we can get rid of it for, for Cut. Yeah, we'll get rid of Tackle. For cut, and then uh, we'll get the item there because I'm pretty sure the the person that deletes the uh, the HM is coming up here shortly. So I just really want to get this item because I'm pretty sure it's a good item to have. I'm pretty sure it's a pretty good item to have. If it's, I think it's the Everstone. Leftovers. Okay, leftovers. That's actually very good. That is very very good. Okay, I'm glad I picked it up because we might actually need it. It might come in handy. I know that if we had an Umbreon instead of an Espeon, it would come in very handy. But, uh, no, sadly, we have an Espeon, which I'm not upset about. I'm not upset about because Espeon is my favorite evolution. But if we had an Umbreon, uh, I'm pretty sure Umbreon would put that to good use. All right, so we have a Survivor here. Uh, Game Shark, can you take care of this? Level 27. I'm pretty sure that Survivor doesn't get anything that's gonna 
worry me that much. Uh, Surf does 90. What's higher, our special attack or our physical attack? I'm pretty sure it's our physical attack. Could be wrong though. 92. Oh, definitely a physical attack. Definitely a physical attack. Alright, so let's go for a crunch here. Stab plus life orb. I'm pretty sure you're gonna go down to one crunch as you are. Alright, so the Viper goes down with no trouble whatsoever. Ooh, so close to level 30. Mikey and Matt grows to level 33. Quick guard. Nope, we are not playing VGC. This is a playthrough. <laughs> and Zenobia is now level 34. Good, good. Alright, what else could you have? What else could you have? A mill tank. That is actually quite terrifying, so we're actually going to go ahead and go out into uh, Mikey Mac here and go for a Sky Ripper Cut. Alright, so Mikey Mac comes out and Mill Tank should go down to a Sky Ripper Cut. I know that Mill Tank can be particularly bulky, but uh, I mean, we're a Lucario for crying out loud and we have Sky Ripper Cut, so you should go down to one here. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so Mill Tank goes down. Okay, level 30 for sure, Kavana. Arthur's level 29, which I'm not complaining about. Slash, no, we're pretty good with what we have. And then uh, 30, so I think we're gonna get Sharpedo here. Pretty sure. Okay, I'm pretty sure Sharpedo, right? Yeah, baby, let's go. Game Shark is evolving. I am so hyped for this, guys. We have an Excadro and a Sharpedo in our team now. That is wonderful news. That is wonderful news. Our team is just destructive. Oh my lord. Sharpedo. Look at that. Yeah. I don't think we're going to lose this lock anymore. I probably just jinxed myself, so let me knock on wood. Slash. Nope. By the way, if that hurt your, if you, that hurt your ears, guys, I do apologize. Um, but uh, we have a fucking Sharpedo now. That is amazing. That is amazing. Uh, we already have an encounter for Route 12, I do believe. So, unfortunately for this route, we're not going to get anything. So, let's run away from this Pachirisu. Alright. What is over here? More trainers, I believe? Yep, more trainers. That's fine. My swarm of Bug-type Pokemon is in tip-top shape and buzzing for a battle. Bring it on, little kid. This isn't considered harassment, right? If I if I beat him in a battle? Pretty sure it's not harassment. Cause they obviously encourage it. I mean you gotta train the Pokemon to be stronger. Let's go for a nice thing. Alright, Yanma goes down. Yanma goes down. Alright, something popped on my other monitor that I got a little concerned. I was like, please tell me it doesn't interfere with the recording. That would not be good. A Whirlipede. Whirlipede does not scare me. I'm pretty sure you might have Poison Point though, which could be problematic, but I guess we'll adjust accordingly. Alright, Crunch should be a one-shot. Is where's Sharpedo now? <laughs> of course it's gonna be a one-shot. I feel so bad for these wands. <laughs> oh my lord. Alright. Okay. A Moth him. Huh, funny story. I actually uh, wonder traded Mothim over on my uh, Twitch stream uh, earlier this week. I'm pretty sure it was like on Thursday or something. Could be wrong. By the way, that's actually a good uh, a good segue. If you guys are not following my uh, my Twitch channel, I'll go ahead and provide the links in the description below because I uh, I try my best to stream daily. I wonder trade and I shiny hunt, and I'm thinking about starting battles again. So if you guys are you know curious as to what I stream or how I stream, you guys are more than welcome to check out my live stream. Links will be in the description below. All right, more battles, sweet. I like to bring my face in the first, uh, round two, um. So you like to, uh, you know, stuff your face in the Tauros and smell the Tauros, uh. You got some issues to work there with, man. <laughs> you got some issues to work around. All right, so you have a Zangus. Zangus is an amazing Pokemon. I love me some Zangus. All right, let's go for a crunch. Can we please get a Mega Zangus in the next Pokemon game? Please, Mega Zangus, poison normal type, please. Would be the best. Would be pretty amazing. Alright. And, uh, what else do you have, buddy? I'm pretty sure you have a Tauros, since you pretty much just mentioned Tauros. You have a Tauros! Of course you do. Right, let's go ahead and deposit, not deposit, but withdraw you, and let's go out into, uh, let's go into Dig Dug. Let's go ahead and test out our, uh, our newly evolved friend here. 
Look at fucking extra Joe, you guys. Extra Joe is so good. I love extra Joe. Alright, do we have submission still or did I get rid of it? Let's see here. We have Rock Slide instead, which I guess is a better a better move for extra Joe than submission. Because the recoil really doesn't sit right with me. Oh wow, you can eat that up. Okay then. At least we get the flinch, which is good. Uh, I'm gonna go for a uh, I'm gonna go for a home clause here because Tauros really doesn't have anything that's gonna scare me. All right, so our attack rows are actually payback. It's not gonna do too much, right? Ooh, that actually does quite a bit. So I'm gonna go for another home clause here because I think a plus two rock slide should be enough to kill the Tauros. Pretty sure it is anyway. Payback. We should eat that up if it's not a crit. Alright, this is actually pretty scary, but I think a rock slide should be enough to knock out. If it doesn't, well, GG me. Alright, it's gonna go down. Of course it's gonna go down. Why did I even question it? Alright, now we have to heal you up because of the damn life warp. Alright, so you're now level 32, which is good. There's something in my eye. It's probably a worm. Lucario's level 34. Lucario is gaining levels like it's nothing. Oh my lord. Oh, that's right. A jinx is something that is yes that brings back good yeah, yeah. Mhm. Mm brings bad luck. Ah, what the hell is in my eye, man? All right, let's go ahead and heal up our uh, our dig dug here. And you know who can use some levels? Arthur could use some levels. So let's go ahead. Actually, you know what? We don't have anything to take the leftover, so we might as well give it to Arthur. We might as well give it to Arthur. I mean, Arthur is particularly bulky not entirely bulky but it could be fishing is all about casting and reeling well oh no I did a bad I did a bad this is the fucker with six magic card I uh I did a bad did I not switch Arthur up to the front no hmm well then okay then all right magic card goes down one magic card Oh my god. Okay, let's go out into, uh, I think we're gonna go out into Zenobia here. Actually, you know what? We will, no, it's not really worth it. I'm gonna go out to Jerry. I haven't seen Jerry all episode. I haven't seen myself all episode. Oh wait, I'm right there. You guys can see, but I pointed at myself. I don't know why I'm... <laughs> Forget it. Alright, uh, let's go for a swift attack. Alright. I was actually afraid. I was like, Espeon, can you really not kill a Magikarp? Alright, another Magikarp. There's always a trainer like this, guys, in every Pokemon game except for Black and White. A trainer that just has six Magikarp for whatever reason. I don't know why he has six Magikarp. If he ma They're all level 24, too! They are all level 24. Bro. You'd be a little more terrifying if you had an entire team of Gyarados. But no, for whatever reason, you're gonna opt and go for six magic cards. Sure. All of which are falling like flies. If I may add. All of which are falling like flies. Alright. So, another magic card. And you're also going to go down to this swift attack. Oh my god, by the way, I apologize, you guys had to go and sit through that. <laughs> I didn't know he was gonna have six Magikarp. Morning Sun! Yes, I will gladly take Morning Sun. And I will get rid of Flash for it, because Flash is a TM. And uh, I don't think we're ever gonna use Flash, because I can just buy Repel. Zenovia is now level 35. That is terrifying. Zenovia is now, of course, is, is Zenovia our highest. I think Zenobia is our highest party team member. Um, so yeah, Zenobia is a force to be reckoned with, for sure. For sure, Zenobia is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Alright. Finally! Murray, get out of here! I wouldn't have lost so badly if I just re re released sooner? Are you kidding me? You had a team of Magikarp! Come on, man. Come on, man. What's in here? Oh, I don't have Rock Smash yet. I don't have rocks. Kumarine City! Hollow Clip, Hollow Clip Received. Who's it from? Oh, it's my girlfriend, Serena. Jerry, I challenge you to a battle in front of the gym. Prepare yourself. 
Didn't we just battle you in like the previous episode? Pretty sure we did. What's up, man? When I was a child, I saw a Pokemon trainer with the great Afros in Azure Bay. Ooh, that's cool. Let's explore the city. I wanna explore. Who knows? Oh, well, if this is a traveling trainer, it must be terrible walking over a place like that. You're not even gonna bother to heal my mons? Thanks, man. Please don't take anything that my wife. Oh! A silk scarf! Ooh, that's pretty good. Can I heal my mons here? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a Pokemon Center here. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. Ooh, can I get a hot dog? Oh, you have incenses. I don't need any incenses. Sorry, bud. What's up, man? Can you give me a good rod or something? Yeah! I just took a guess and I was like, hey, you're a fisher. Do you have a good rod to give me? And he does. He, in fact, does. What's going on? Oh, the power plant. I heard that electricity for Lumio City is getting lower than usual. You'd be right, man. My magic card was so cute when it eats Poke Puffs with gusto. Watching it eat them made me get go off on my diet again. Yeah, you can't do that. You can't be doing that, man. Can't be doing that. Totally random TM quiz. If you give a, if you give me a correct answer, whoa, I'll give you a TM. Do you want to try the quiz? Sure, why not? What's the move that I'm describing? Slower Pokemon gets a move first. Is that Trick Room? You have acrobatics though. Ooh, acrobatics could be very useful. All right, I'm not gonna bother with Trick Room because Trick Room is, um, in my opinion, I mean, for competitive, it's actually very good. But as far as, uh, you know, playthrough is concerned, it's not all that great. Oh, it's uh, Sycamore and Diantha again. Why, hello, Jerry. What's up, Sycamore? Congratulations. I see you finally obtained everything you need from Mega Evolution. A Mega Stone for the Pokemon, a Mega Ring for the Trainer, and a strong bond with your Pokemon. A strong bond? It's only a hypothesis, but I think the bond between Pokemon and Trainer is the key to this new Mega Evolution. But what is this bond exactly? And why are there examples of Mega Evolution only in the Kalos region? There's still so much we don't know. Does this make you think of something like Kalos' legendary Pokemon? Found only here in the Kalos region, right? Nowhere else? Maybe that's not a coincidence. Oh, what an excellent point indeed. The more you know, the more there is to research. The excitement never ends, does it? Oh, that's right. I came to give you this. What are you going to give me, bro? Fly! Making traveling a lot easier. Use the HM flight to pop right over the Pokemon Center, so places you've already visited. Well then, Jerry. Dianta, I hope I see you both again soon. Bonds. They really are important to us, aren't they? When I'm acting, I think I'm always trying to forge a bond between myself and the character I'm playing. If all I think about is how I'm nothing like a character, then I'll just hate playing it. But if I focus on what I have in common with the character and put myself in her shoes, I might be able to understand her. It's the same for people or Pokemon. Oh, never mind me. I'm just blabbling about my own things. Let's have a bottle the next time we meet, shall we? I'm looking forward to it. You guys are going to find out quickly that we're not going to see her for a very long time. <laughs> uh, yes, let's go ahead and ride the monorail. Because apparently Serena is challenging us to a Pokemon battle in front of the gym. Alright, Serena. I don't think we need to heal up our Mons. I don't think we need to heal up our Mons. So we're just gonna go... Actually, let's go into the Pokemon Center. And then uh, we might as well heal him up now that we're here. Alright. Bump, 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 bump. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. Thank you, Nurse Joy. I like it. I was gonna say I appreciate it, but for whatever reason, light came out of my mouth. I don't know. All right, what's up, Serena? I can't be here. I'm sorry I'm late. Why are you late? So, uh, I don't have Mega Evolution. Um, yeah, none of my Pokemon have the Mega Ring, so you're out of luck if you want to see Mega Evolution, because I unfortunately won't be able to do anything about that. And you have a Meow Stick. Who's our lead? Is it Sharpedo? Hey. It is Sharpedo. Cool. Alright, you're level 31. I think you also have Disarming Voice. I could be wrong though. Fake Out. Oh god. Not fun. Speed Boost. Speed Boost. Oh yeah, so we're pretty much going to outspeed everything on your team. Crunch should knock you out in one hit. 
Let's see that HP bar drop. Critical hit, not needed, I'm assuming. Not needed. All right. And uh, what else do you got? What else do you got? What else do you got? You have an Absol, okay, which, uh, let's see here. Um, which I guess Mikey Matt can take care of. I don't want to leave Sharpedo out against an Absol, even though I'm pretty sure Absol won't do much. Let's go into, uh, Lucario anyway. Alright, Mikey Muck. You get an Absol here. Let's go for a Sky Uppercut, of course. Quick attack, we resist. Very good, very good, very good. Sky Uppercut is gonna land and it's gonna Oko the Absol. I think you have a Frogadier. Last I remember. Yes, you do have a Frogadier. Alright, luckily enough, we do have a level 35 Zenovia. Jesus. Alright. I love Luxray though. Luxray is amazing. Luxray is amazing. And we'll go for a Thunder Fang to wrap this up. For a second there, I thought it was going to live. I was like, how is it living of Thunder Fang? Box. And we defeat Serena again. As a Pokemon trainer, I find you really interesting. Is that a good thing? Did she just compliment me? Even though we set off from Vanderbilt Town, at the same time, you somehow became stronger than I am. What could be so different about us? Well, good luck with your gym battle. Do your best, okay? The difference here is that I am the protagonist of the game, so I am meant to win every battle you and I have. And with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. If you guys did enjoy the episode, then please go ahead and drop a like down below. Your support means everything to this series, guys. It really does. Um, I wouldn't be in the position I am without you guys. We are approaching 1,600 subscribers, and that's pretty darn cool. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. My name has been Jerry, and until next time, stay awesome.